Hello there, welcome to the 365 Challenge, 365 guitar lessons in 365 days. The last 11 videos have all been about the caged major and minor bar chord shapes. This time I'm going to show you an exercise based on uh, the old song by the Kingsman, Louie Louie. Um, now Louie Louie is a good song to learn when you first learn a couple of bar chords anyway. It's in the key of A. And what you do is you play the A, strumming down, up, down, and then on the D, and on the E, and back down to the D. Okay? So if you've learnt your E and your A shape bar chords, that's a good one to practice. What I want to do is take that song further. Uh, so that we can practice all five different chord shapes, but just using that one song. So what we're going to do is we're going to transpose it from A down to G. And we're going to stay within certain scale areas of the fretboard, or scale positions. So for example, we're going to play G, C, D, C. But I want to play all three of those chords strictly within what we could call the Ionian, the major scale areas of G. So, I've got to find a G within that area. That one's simple, it's an E shape. And then I've got to find a C, that one's simple as well, it's an A shape. And then I want to find a D. Now, what I'm going to have to do, that, here's a tip, the easiest way to find the chord in any area is to find the lowest root note. So if I'm looking for a D, I need to find the lowest root note, the, uh, which is D, the lowest D, in the Ionian scale. So there it is, D. So there's two types of chord that I could get from the A string, a root note on the A string, which would be an A shape, but that's no good because now I'm using notes that are all the way out of the Ionian area of the neck. I'm into Dorian now, so what I want to do is find a different shape. Also from that same root note, I can play a C shape. That chord is entirely inside the Ionian uh, framework there. So I can go G, C, D, C. Using an E shape, then an A shape, then a C shape, and back to an A shape. So that's Louie Louie, but played in the key of G, and inside that sort of Ionian box there. Next part of the challenge is to play it in Dorian, and then Phrygian, and then Mixolydian, and then Aeolian. Uh, you're playing the same three chords each time, and it's half a bar of each chord. Thing is, you've got to find them. The process of finding them makes you better and quicker at finding these different chord shapes, which will help with your playing in general. And also, the next part of the challenge is to stick on a beat, like uh, start slow, 60 beats per minute, something like that, and play four bars of the riff in each of the five areas of the fretboard. Um, and stick to the beat. If you can do it at 60, great, start speeding it up. Go for 70, 80, 90, 100, etc. So, give you a little, little example. I shall stick on a beat and show you how it goes. Okay, so here we go. First of all, in the Ionian position. And again. And then I'm going to move to the Dorian position. And then the Phrygian position.
and then Mixolydian. Okay, so you can see what good practice that is for uh, memorising, finding and practising uh, the five major bar chord shapes, C, A, G, E, D. Now you could also do a very similar exercise to practise all the minor shapes. You could even use the same song, just do a minor version of the same song if you like. Okay, good luck, happy practising. <laughs>